for glorious lovers let's start our tutorial so i have here different fabrics for this tutorial because i'm going to make different turban base materials that will be needed for this particular tutorial are uh, my matching thread i brought different matching thread for all the different colors of fabrics i have here my measuring tape my scissors and I have here my colored pins. So now, let me start with all this my fabric. I'll take them one by one so that you can actually understand what I am doing. So I'll take the first fabric now. Now, the measurement for this fabric I have here is 24 inches by 11 inches for the body. When you have something like this, it's the body of the turban. For the band, this is called band. I have 30 inches for the length, the length like this, and four and a half inches for the width. Now, the 30 inches is on the stretchy part. This 24 inches too is on the stretchy part. So now, the base I want to do for this is the V band base, V band. So now, once you cut out your, I'm going to work, start with the band. Once you cut out your 30 inches, you fold it into two. Like this. Then you cut it, you divide it into two. So the band is in two places now, the 30 inches. So this makes it 15 inches, 15 inches. You can as well cut it out like that too, 15 inches, 15 inches. So now the next thing now, with the wrong side facing me now, we fold this into two like this. Because this is this tutorial is beginner friendly, so I'm going to do everything as if I'm doing it for the first time. So when you fold the first one, you use your pin to hold it down. So now we fold the second one too. So now the next thing now we place them on top of one another like this, making sure that they are equal so once you have done it like this you take your tape roll then you measure out two inches from the edge like this two inches so from the two inches i'll just take a put a line like this to the edge here from these two inches just draw a line like this so this is it. I believe you have seen what I've done. So now the next thing now is to cut this place out. So this is it. So we remove the pin to separate them. So I have this here and I have it here. I have it here. See? You see? This is it too. So you place the edge of this on the plate edge of this. This is like this. On top of one another. So let me demonstrate it again. This is it now. I've cut it out. So you place this one like this. And you place this one like this. On top of one another. Like this. So you still take your pin, making sure they are equal. Make sure they are equal. So once they are equal like that, you take your pin and pin it down. So this is our V band. This is how it looks like. So now the next thing now is to take the body of my turban cap. So the 24 inches, I'll fold it into two. I want to get the midpoint of my 24 inches. So I fold it into two and take my scissors. Just a little, not shut out like that. So once you have done that, you see, you have a mark here. And this one is like this. So now you take your um lining. So I'll take my lining too and and get the midpoint of the lining. So this is the midpoint. 
I will take this band to my sewing machine. The way I pin it down, as a beginner, you have to do this. The way I pin it down, I will sew it from this edge here, this edge here, down to this place, and this place. From this place to this place and to this place. So once I sew it, I'll come back to show us what I've done before I continue with this two. So I'm done sewing it, you see. So I've sewn from this end down to this place. So now the next thing now is to take the body of my turban cap with the right side facing me. With the right side facing me on the 24 inches. I will place this there like this the right side facing me the tip of this place on the tip of my midpoint so i'll place it like this then i'll take my pin i'll pin it down if you are doing this for the first time you can just pin down first so you continue pinning like that this this both both sides here might not be too easy but you just have to drag it up to pin it to the body of your turban cap. So this place too, you, you bring it up. So you can see it. I pin I pin the band down on the body of my turban cap with the right side facing me. Now you will take your lining where you have notched that you got the midpoint, midpoint of your lining on the midpoint of your band so this is how you place it and then i take my name the pin i used to pin it down and pin the three of them together so now i'll continue to pin the way i pin the way i pin these two together i'll pin this one too on them so this is it i've pinned it down so i'll not take it to my sewing machine and so from this edge down to this edge then from i will leave i will leave a space here where my band is coming out i will leave this place then i will start again from this place down to this place i will come like this down to this place then i will come to this place too and stop and stop shortly before before my band i will stop here too so that is what i'm going to do so i'm going to so guys i'm done sewing it so now there will be excess here so you just take your scissors and trim off the so that's it so now the opening that was left here is where you will turn it out so this is it this is the back yes and no need for weeping so you can see so this is the front now the opening where you where you left here the opening where you left here you put this inside like this and this inside like this and close it up so when you close it up when you close that place up you let you fold it like this with the right side then you sew You sew. When you finish sewing it, cut off the excess. Then come back to show us. So I cut off. I saw. I saw this side. I did not sew it finish because I'm sewing on the right side. So I only saw this. I only saw the band. So I cut off the excess. So this is it now. So you now turn it to the wrong side. So you start your sewing from here down down to this place when you get to this place you come you come you come then you so you come back to show us what i've done so as you can see i'm done i'm done sewing it you can see the essence of that is for the front and back to be neat you can see how neat it is and no need for weaving see the front see the back so now the next thing to do now is to place it on on the table like this and measure out my measure out my head circumference 
where I want my S circumference to be. So I want it to be 10 here. So you take your chalk and mark out 10. Then I'll take my needle and thread to start my running stitch. Now take note of this. I always like to hide the beginning of my needle and thread. So I've already put my thread inside my needle and the thread is thick. So from here, from here, I'll just put, you see, my needle will just enter inside it like that. And the thread will just, just, the thread will just enter inside it like that. So now I'll take my pin to where I marked. Then start my running stitch. So now I'm done. This is the running stitch. You can see how it is. So if your customer does not make hair, if it's the type that does not make hair like that, so you can drag it down and let it be tight. Then I always like to return it back to do it like two times before knotting it. But if it's the customer that likes to make hair, you can you can let it be loose up here. Let it be loose a little, a little like this. So the fabric I use for this, um, for this particular one is London crepe. The crepe fabric is stretchy fabric. So now the next thing now is to start turning it, start turning it out like this. So this is our V band. The banker base so this is the base this now is for me to take the second the second design which is the round band the, the fabric i'm using for this is um velvet this is velvet fabric so the measurement i have here because this velvet fabric is very very stretchy that is why i intentionally take this to explain this is very extremely stretchy very very stretchy so i make it 23 inches for the s circumference which is the stretchy parts 23 inches for the s circumference and the length is 11 inches now this is the band the band too is 20 23 inches for the length and the width the width is four and a half inches four and a half inches for the width and the length is 23 inches the right side facing me i'll fold it into two and get the midpoint fold it into two like this then take my scissors and get the next point. So this is the midpoint of the main fabric, you can see. So now this is the lining. The lining too is 23 inches by 11 inches. So I'm using scuba for the lining because this is a very light fabric. I'm using scuba. So I'll, I'll, I'll fold the scuba two into two and not to get the midpoint so, so i will take the band also and fold this into two i'm trying to get the midpoint of the band also so this is it so i'll take my scissors and not to cut the midpoint so this is the midpoint this is the midpoint so i will, I will just use paint to hold this place down so that it's not it's not scattered so then i'll take the fabric i want to use at the wrong side facing me Please sit down. Then this is the midpoint of my fabric, remember. 
then I'll place the midpoint of the band to on it. This is the midpoint of the band. I'll place it on it. And I'll pin it together just exactly the way I did with the V band. So now the next thing now is to put my lining on it. So my the midpoint of my lining, I'll place it on the midpoint of the band and the body of the top band. So this is it on it like this. Then I will start pinning them down together. Making sure they are equal at the mouth. So this is it. So now I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew from this edge down to this edge. Then I will leave where where the band where the band is and start from somewhere here down like this so this down and up so guys you can see i'm done sewing it so when you are done like that you trim off all the excess at the edge of of um, your turban if you don't if you don't trim it off by the time you turn it out it will be so bulky so I've trimmed up the excess, so I'll just turn it out. So as you can see, this is our round band, neatly sewn to it, to the body of my turban cap. So just the way I did the V band, I'll close this up. I'll close this place up and sew it. Then I'll sew the band first on the right side. So I'll trim up the excess turn it to the wrong side and sew it out so so that is what i'm going to do with this one but i'm not going to close this this one up because i want to stone it i want to put rice stone on it so that's why i'm not going to close this one up. so but i believe you understand the concept on of how to fix your around band on your turban base so this is it. Look at it. Very neat.